Hi, right, I'm Michael. I'm Ash. And today we're going to teach you a game called uh, Double Hat Trick. So the way you play this is really simple. All you need is paper. With a, we've drawn a number line. We're playing 0 to 100 on it. And two different colour pens, pencils, textures. Now, we're going to use two 10-sided dice um, because we're playing with two-digit numbers. Um, we'll show you an alternative if you don't have these dice at home. All right, easiest way to learn is for us to start playing and explain what we're doing. So, Nash, do you want to start? Yes. Okay. All right, now, Nash has rolled a five and a one. So, Nash, what are your two choices of numbers you can make? 15 or 51. Okay, so 15 or 51. What are you going to make? 51. Beautiful. So, where would that go? There. Ah, um, right in the middle. Beautiful. Right there. Okay, so Nash is labelling below the line and he's in green. And I'm gonna, that means I'll label above the line. Now, the aim of the game, so I've got a seven and a three. So the aim of the game is to be the player who gets three numbers in a row, oh, sorry, four numbers in a row of their particular color without the other player blocking them. So I don't need to get 73, 74, 75, 76. I could get 73, 80, 85, 90. As long as there's no green in amongst that, I've won the game. Your turn, Nash. Fifteen. Oh, it's ninety. Ninety, or what's the other number you could have made? Nine. Actually, I actually want to make nine. Okay, so where would nine go? Maybe there. Okay. Beautiful. All right. Now the good thing about this game is that there is a bit of luck involved. A uh, fifty. No, I have a big. Oh, not anymore. There is a bit of luck involved, but there is also some strategy. So when you have your choices of numbers, quite often there's a better old one of the two options will be a better option. I can still win C dip, 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 and you're going on top. <laughs> okay, so you've got four and zero done in. What are you gonna do? Forty. So this is an example where there is a better choice. There's a, out of the two choices, there's one that's clearly better than the other. Actually four. Okay, whatever you think, four or forty. To do the so just put a little stick above it, connecting it to the black line. Beautiful. Okay. Can I ask actually why did you go for four instead of forty? Because then I could win. Try and win. Try and go in there. Okay. Oh, now if you don't have the dice, so the other alternative what you can use is just a regular deck of cards. Um, and take out, so you just want zeros to nines in the deck. So queens being zeros, aces being one. Turn over two cards. Now in this instance, I don't have a choice. I have to make 88. Um, so if you don't have the dice at home, cards is another really easy option to use. But we'll go back to using the dice because I think the dice are more fun. Oh, this is a good one. So now, yeah. Now she's in a really good position now. Okay. So now Nash has got three in a row. He's got an excellent chance of getting a fourth. I've got to try and get down here and block him. <laughs> you know what would be great for me, Nash? A one and a zero. 52 or 25. I'm going to go 25 to try and limit your choices a little bit. Oh. Okay. 52 would be better. Well, 52 would be better for me. It would give me three in a row, but I feel like I need to kind of block you here, Nash. That's what I'm, I'm being more defensive. Ah. 28. Now, if I, did, if I had done 52, would 28 have won it for you? Yeah. But now it doesn't. 28. Now, hold on, have a think. 28, what's your other choice? 82. Yeah. Actually, 82 to block To, to block me. Okay, so where would that go? Right there. Okay, so in between. Now, hold on, remember you're below the line. You're oh, below. Yeah. Stop, that's okay. Just go below. So between 73 yeah, and 88. What, what one did I get? Oh, 82. Yep, yeah, beautiful. Two. Wait. All right, my turn. Uh, 42 or 24. Ooh, 24 would give me three. All right, I'm going to label this. So I'm going to go up there. 24. So now I've got three in a row. 24, 25, and 50. And... Yeah. I'm going to do... 13. I've win. 
Yeah, now have a think, where would it go? There. Okay. And look, that's an interesting thing that Nash is doing there. I'm not as concerned about placement of numbers because I figure the more we play the game, the more he'll get to understand where the numbers go. So Nash, you're the winner. Four in a row, two, four, nine, and 13. So that's double hat trick. Now, the ways it can be varied to make it more challenging is you can increase the size of the numbers. So you could play zero to a thousand. In that case, you would need, you'd be working with three digit numbers. So you'd need three dice or three cards. You go zero yeah, to 10. Get two numbers in that. You could, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, so you could roll a zero. You could go zero to 10,000. You could go decimals. So you could go zero to one and have two digit numbers being uh, tenths and hundredths. Now you can also make a simpler version. Now she might just quickly show in the simpler version. Oh. The other way to play is just go with one digit numbers. So our number line would be zero to 10. Now the, the key to this is if we're playing with one digit numbers, we still want the element of student choice. So we're still gonna use two dice because that's what brings the strategy in. So if I roll a five and a nine, I choose whether I want to place the five or the nine. And then that decision, you roll Nash, will be guided by what my, what's on the board. Uh, three. Okay, so where would the three go? Four, four, three, maybe, four, yeah, zero. Okay, where do you think three goes? Maybe there. Okay, all right. And as you can see, we've got a lot of work to do with placement of numbers on number lines. But the best way we're going to learn that is by playing this game more. Because the more we start to fill in the numbers, the more we'll be able to see where numbers need to go. So that's Double Hat Trick. We hope you enjoy it. We'll see you next time.